Well, greetings, folks. Hope you're all keeping well. This is Gulliver and his mate Naya. Both jaguars are from the jungles of South America. Gulliver is a normal coloured jaguar, but Naya has been classed as a black panther. The term black panther is an umbrella term for a cat with a mutation in their skin, and they have an excess of m amount of dark pigmentation. It affects about 13 different species of cat worldwide. It has never been seen in lion and tigers, contrary to popular belief. There has never been a case of melanism, which it's called, in lions. Even though there's pictures on the internet of a black lion, these would be photoshopped. So the largest species of cat with melanism is a jaguar. Leopards are a close second. There are another large cat who ha can have the mutation, both of which are called black panther because they both come from the genus Panthera. Folks, to give you an update on Gulliver and Naya and their cubs uh, from the last video that we did, I'll link that down in the description um, if you want to go and check that one out. The cubs have moved off to other centres to help increase the gene pool and increase the numbers um, of these beautiful cats. Naya is still the boss of the two of them. Normally the cats are solitary animals, but in, this ca in captivity and especially in this case, they have a long lasting relationship. And this is definitely one love story for the ages. Folks, if you like this video, please hit the like button. And just between me and you, I am, I'll let you in on a little secret. I've been keeping to myself. I'm just had to come on back from a trip. And I got some amazing footage about otters and anteaters. In other words, aardvarks. So hit the subscribe button to get notified for these upcoming videos. But for now, here's some extremely interesting facts about jaguars. The name Jaguar actually comes from the South American Spanish word Jaeger, which translates to he who kills with one leap. They'll also eat almost anything. Jaguars are the most opportunistic hunters. They can prey on almost anything they come across. For example, their menu items would consist of capybaras, deers, tortoises, iguanas, armadillos, fish, birds, New World monkeys, they are the apex predators of South America and they can also hunt both in the day and the night time. When they're hunting at night they can travel up to 10 miles a night just looking for prey. They've also got the strongest bite force of any cat. Their teeth are so strong that they're able to bite through turtle shell or even the thick hide of crocodiles. Also they've also got propylias on their tongue. These are like bulbs, very razor sharp bulbs on their tongue, which they use to scrape the meat off the bone. Because they eat so much protein, even their cubs, they grow very, very quickly. But here's a bonus fact for you folks. Did you know that jaguars that want to mate can actually mate up to 100 times a day? Personally, I'd be completely knackered. Pregnancy can last about 14 weeks and when the cubs are born they weigh about the same as a loaf of bread. But after two years, them cubs are after grown so much and males can actually weigh up 50% more than their females and they're actually nearly fully grown at two years of age. Now, as I said, they eat a lot of protein so they are a bit on the chunky side. But they are the largest cat in the new world and also the third largest cat in the entire planet behind lions and tigers. The male jaguars can weigh up to about 1200 kilograms which is about 19 stone. The females are a little lighter at about 100 kilograms but really unusual their size varies from location to location. For example jaguars in Central America which would be Mexico, Belize, Guatemala are only about half the size of the jaguars in the Pantanea which is an area in Brazil, well it's mainly in Brazil, that contains the largest tropical wetlands and also the world's largest flooded grasslands. The distribution of these magnificent cats are anywhere from the southern United States to Mexico all the way down to Argentina across 18 countries. Brazil holds around half of the wild jaguars in the world. Their habitat include wet and dry forests, savannas, shrublands. Jaguars are strong swimmers and climbers, but sadly they're dependent on the healthy freshwater systems and access to great amounts of territory for survival. 
Habitat destruction is sadly the main threat for these animals and has resulted in new threats for the jaguars. For example, the loss of their homes is fragmenting and isolating their population and thus making it harder for them to find mates and breed. Less habitat also means less wild prey for them to hunt, so they have to take their chance of killing livestock to eat and thus getting killed by farmers. And thirdly, as I've stated in the last video, it was illegal to poach jaguars but it's still been going on and it's still a threat folks if you like this video maybe you'd like the first video the love story of jaguars got up Renee, on screen now thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video have a lovely day stay safe